in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour on one of the most vibing spots in all of Waikiki, the Surf Jack Hotel and Swim Club, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to a video here in the Hawaii series. In this video, I'm gonna take you to a hotel that has all the vibes and it gives you a 60s retro feel with a modern twist, and that is the Surf Jack Hotel and Swim Club. They also have a Mahina and Sons restaurant that has some amazing food. We're gonna try that out for dinner. I'm gonna give you a bungalow room tour. They have a pool here that says, wish you were here, and I do. Jaycationers, I wish you were here, but I'm gonna to try my best to take you along with me give you a nice tour of this hotel just talk about all the great amenities and things that they have to offer here because they really do turn back the clock here and treat you right no parking fees let's start with the tour right across the front desk they do have a quaint little cafe where you can get more than just coffee and they also have a surf jack store where they sell the brand banks journal and other local hawaiian brands i also see that they rep a local san diego brand june Moonshine Kombucha, which you can pick up over there as well. And they also have refillable water tanks around here, as well as reef safe sunscreen. So it's dinner time here in Waikiki, and here at the Surf Jack, they have Mahina and Sons. It's a highly acclaimed restaurant here. Nice indoor and outdoor place right by the pool. They got awesome local music here. I am enjoying the vibes over here. This is why I'm saying this is the vibiest spot to go to. Let's go inside, try out some of the cocktails, try out their food. I'm really excited for this. We're here enjoying the live music at Mahina and Sons. And I'm starting off with my favorite musical artist, Bruno Mars Rum. It's Silver Ray Rum. This is the Hanalei Moon. Beautiful presentation. They got star anise in here. They have a bunch of different fruits, spices, the nice garnish here, and a really strong wooden straw here with a lot of crushed ice. This looks amazing. Cheers, Jaycationers. Aloha. Enjoy your stay. Oh yeah. This takes me back to the Silk Sonic concert in Vegas, but I'm here by the pool. Man, this, this actually looks like a place where Bruno Mars would uh, do a little photo shoot with his Silver Ray rum. I'm gonna enjoy this Hanalei Moon. There's a ton of tiki cocktails on this menu, as well as wines. They even have a happy hour menu you can check out over here. And I saw they had Bikini Blonde Maui Brewing Company on draft. And they also have peanuts. Look at these peanuts. The manette for you Filipinos. Mm. My grandpa used to love buying bags of peanuts like this in San Diego in the Asian market. And we'd eat these over at his house when he'd watch me as a little kid. Brings me back to those memories, to my Lolo John giving me some of these peanuts. Mm. What we have here for you is our beautiful Mahina piece. We got these different sauces for you. This is the shishito romesco, the miso aioli, and this is our yuzu soy. Very nice. Actually, these two together with some in-house pickles go very well with the fish. Now, this cucumber salad, wait till you try it. It's made with umeboshi dressing. Roasted fruit vegetables, all locally sourced. Now this, this is game changer. This is our kuala, which is on sweet potato, and kalo, which is our taro root. And it's buttered, has a nice crisp outer coating, the inside soft and moist, and we top it with our Hawaiian chili pepper water ale. Excellent. And we get a little sprinkle of chopped scallion. And of course our hapa rice. Just a little bit of everything. Oh my god, it's so lovely. This is really a feast. It is! is a <laughs> feast for one. <laughs> yeah man, so please enjoy. And then leave some room later for your dessert because it comes with the banana pudding. Awesome, thank you. Alright guys, so we got the fish a whole, whole fish. I'm gonna attempt to cut it up and not get the bones. I think I did a good enough job. You guys know how I am with fish that are looking at me. This just looks too amazing. So let's try it out. 
This fish is perfection. This sauce right here, that is some tasty sauce. Mm. Let's try out their other sauce, the green one. Ooh, that's cilantro. Okay. It's not a hardcore cilantro we taste, but it's really good with this. But this white sauce, it's magic. Mmm. I got the crunch of the skin. That's a thumbs up. You fool around my chick, I will whack you with my stick if you fool around my chick. Next up, we're on to the cucumber salad. Looks like you got mushrooms, tomatoes. That is fresh. Mmm, gotta have that with the fish too. Yum, yum, yum. This right here is the Hawaii 78. This is their tropical cover take on the French 75. This is their best seller right here. You got some champagne. Ah. I can see why this is their best seller. This is a tasty drink. Listening to this music, nice Hawaiian feel, nice relaxing 60s vibes over here. This place is all the vibes for sure. You gotta try out their, the family feast, maybe with a few more people. Not, Don't be like me, by myself. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this. Mahina and Sons is one of the top notch places here in all of Oahu. This bowl with the white sauce and the taro in it, it is some delectable stuff. Mmm, wow. I could eat this whole bowl. Also guys, you're gonna see the Al Crudo. I didn't have audio, but that Al Crudo was amazing. The smoked soy in that Al Crudo, which is blue marlin, it was amazing. You gotta try out that Al Crudo appetizer before this whole family feast. I gotta give that one a super thumbs up. This right here is like the Hawaiian version of patatas bravas. You got some awesome aioli on this. But with the taro root, it brings me back to Spain, but we're in Hawaii. The taro sweet potato, man, I can't get enough of that. This place is so amazing that President Obama and Michelle Obama, they dined here. Barack, he used to live in Hawaii. He's from here. So this place is amazing, especially if the President of the United States came here to visit with his wifey. What you have here is our lovely kahiko, made with kupu whiskey and that beautiful coconut water ice cube just changes the flavors as it goes. So lovely. And that fresh orange peel. You're telling me this is a Hawaiian old fashioned with coconut water cube ice? Let's do this. This is a sipper right here. The old fashioned fans would love this. That's thumbs up. Drop the mic. And then I also got my dessert here too. So we're gonna have some fun. Here we have our Mahina banana pudding. It is our signature dessert. It's our chef's uh, mom's recipe, so it's very dear to his heart. It's gonna be caramelized bananas, vanilla cream, and then cookie dirt on top. The cookie dirt is shortbread cookie and double chocolate cookie that we just crumbled. We're finishing up here with the dessert, and this just looks so tasty. Mm, the banana, the caramel, the cream. Ever since I discovered the Bikini Blonde from Maui Brewing, it quickly became my favorite Hawaiian beer, especially when I'm here in Oahu. Man, that's such a crisp summer beer. I decided to end my night here at Mahina and Sons with something simple like this. That's my dessert. We're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow I'm gonna give you a room tour, but Mahina and Sons, two thumbs up. This is amazing. This was a great spot. You definitely, if you're staying here, you gotta dine here at least once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Good night, JK Shinners. We'll see you in the morning in about two seconds. I also like the lights. They kind of look like paddles. And look how quick they are to change to August. So this is their August schedule. Too bad I'm leaving today. Good morning, Jcationers. So we're here grabbing the free coffee in the morning down here by the pool. That is another great thing that they offer here. Other hotels in Waikiki, maybe some do offer coffee, but this is actually really tasty. And on top of that, you got free parking. Like, what hotel on Waikiki offers free parking? Well, the Surf Jack does. And you park a couple blocks away in the parking garage over at the Hyatt Centric, but still, that's only a block or two away. So perfect, love everything they have to offer here and everything is affordable. It's raining right now, look at this. Out here by the pool, they also have three cabanas where you can have 
private meetings and sit down on one of the couches, link to their Wi-Fi and get some work done while you're out here looking at the pool. And this place is dog friendly. This is probably the most dog friendly hotel in all of Waikiki. And they have articles on the walls talking about it. I've seen small dogs, they even have big dogs. They don't charge extra for any size of dogs here. And you can have a nice little vacation with your best friend, your little pup, over here at the Surf Shack. So that's another really great advantage of staying here. A lot of the dogs here have been really nice. I've come across a couple of them. You can even order from Mahina and Sons from here. You just scan your menu, you can get your orders sent out right here to the cabana. So relaxing. I like this background. It really brings you back to the 1960s when this hotel was brand new. I think this was built in like the late 50s, early 60s. Educationers, now it's time for the fabulous room review. These bungalow style rooms were crafted in the late 1950s into the early 1960s. They kept the 1960s vibe, but with a modern twist. They bring in local artists on the come up and they put up all their designs downstairs in the pool where it says you wish you were here. And here in the room, you really do feel that beach 60s throwback vibe. You know, you're not staying in a sky rise here in Waikiki, you're staying in a lower building Building, but you get a nice view of Cohio Avenue and you have wooden floors right when you come in into this lavish nice beach looking living room over in the entertainment center you got your lamp that looks like a tree stump a bamboo wood looking entertainment center and then inside the entertainment center you have your drawers there's about five drawers and a cubby hole and there's even a Bible and an info book there for you to use while you're here in Oahu you have this nice leather chair with some wick on the side you can put your shoes on here. Huge coffee table, and it's a nice little retro look to it. This is actually a pull-out sofa. So you can pull this out, and if you're staying here with families, and I saw a really nice French family here. I talked to the dad, shout out to Michel, and Michel said that you know his kids are staying here. Parents are staying over in the main bedroom. They also have a square footrest, and right behind me is a nice display piece right here. And over in the two closets to my right, you have your safe and your refrigerator so you can keep your food cold or your beverages cold and then go out to the lanai and have a good time. Do you also have yourself a closet in here for the people that may be staying over in this part. Over here in this closet area, you do have two outlets and a nice picture frame of Diamond Head and some old luau's from back in the day here in Waikiki. So they really do bring that 1960s vibe to you because it looks like the picture was made in the 1960s. You also have your ice bucket. There's ice down the hall and two cups. And you have a surf jack coaster over here and tray. This is a really cool area, guys. You know, in my room reviews, I always want to talk about security. You do have your double locks here. And even though I'm right next to the elevator, I don't hear the elevator because the walls are thicker. This place was made a lot sturdier than the newer places. So the walls really are not that thin. They're actually a little thicker. I didn't really hear that many people. You got a nice little mirror here, ledge shelf, or you can put your keys or your wallet so you don't forget it on the way out to Waikiki. And of course, you have a huge bathroom over here. You have a circular mirror with two lights around it and then a third light and a fan over here. You got a wooden counter with a nice sink. They provide you some soap. You have your hair dryer here, a bunch of towels, extra toilet paper. You even have a mat for the shower if you want to use it and a mat for outside the shower. And they have this beautiful painting of pink fuchsia and light blue lays that are that look like they're just laid out on a table or on the ground somewhere. And then inside the shower, you have a lot of room. It's just a walk-in shower with a door. They have their Surf Jack shampoo and conditioner, their special Surf Jack shampoo and conditioner. You have the shower head, and then you also have one that you can hold and spray. This bathroom comes equipped with everything you may need. Also in the living room, you have a telephone and a nice little Aloha frame here that is made by Fumi Soto in 2014. Another great thing about this hotel is the huge lanai balcony that you have here and it overlooks the wish you were here pool 
It just gives you all the vibes over here. They actually have an aqua blue table and two chairs here so you can just look out on towards the ocean, which is just down the way here, only three blocks. Like you literally can get to the beach in 10 minutes by foot and then you can get to the international marketplace for even less than that. And then they even have uh, areas here where you can hang your towels. The sliding door from the living room gets you here and the sliding door from the bedroom gets you here as well. All right, now to the bedroom. Now you have a huge bed bed over here it was nice and comfortable five pillows for you to use there is a decorative wooden nightstand here for you with a matching clock with light green and brown tones to it and you also have a flat screen TV here as well huge mirror and a big counter where my camera is on right now where you can lay your stuff out and then you also got something on the wall here that looks like a dream catcher with ropes really nice and really simple and then I like this blue and white China looking design over here in the back it looks like you got palm trees waves and it just really feels very Hawaii and then on the other side you have another nightstand with USB ports and normal outlet as well as USB ports over on this side as well. I have a lot of space in this bedroom so you can sprawl out your stuff. And then inside the closets, they have an extra blanket and an extra pillow with hangers, with your iron, and they also have a luggage rack in there as well. So there are a total of one, two, three, four closets here. So you're not gonna run out of closet space, especially if you're staying here for a couple of weeks. You also have a full length mirror here behind the door. So you can check out your beach fit for the day and I'm wearing my Padre City Connect gear. You already know. You also can't forget that there's a fan and a light up there. So although there is air conditioning, you can also turn on the fan. And I really enjoy the ceilings here. Look at this, like white bamboo looking ceilings and a really nice clean floor. Can't ask for more. And you can't forget the huge TV in the living room as well. Remember, bring your HDMI cord so you could connect your computer so you could watch your YouTube or Netflix or whatever else you want on your laptop. But they do have cable here as well. I do prefer to watch YouTube because, you know, I'm a YouTuber. All in all, the Surf Jack is a great value hotel. It's nice and clean. It's dog friendly. They have free parking. Mahina and Sons is downstairs and they have some of the best cuisine in all of Waikiki. And the pool with I wish you were here and all the decorations and paintings and stuff downstairs make this place such a hip and vibe 1960s throwback spot oh man I'm coming back here guys I'm gonna come back here next summer for sure I might bring a few more people so we could hang out and have a good time and it's only an 8 to 10 minute walk to the beach and you got the international marketplace and all the big shops down the way right here and there's an ABC store in the corner prices aren't bad like it's around the 200 range give or take if it's a weekend of course it's gonna go up but wow for a two-room bungalow you're gonna really get your money's worth, especially if you're with more people. The parking at the Hyatt Centric is awesome. It's just two blocks away and it's free. Some hotels here charge upward to 50 to $75 just to get parking. Definitely enjoy all of this here at the Surf Jack and all their activities. You know, they have yoga, they have parties down by the pool. They have a night market by the pool, I heard, where they bring all these local vendors to sell once a month. And nightly, they have artists over in Mahina and Sons by the pool playing some really nice, romantic, soothing island music. I definitely love this place. <sighs> Surf Jack Hotel and Swim Club. You get one thumbs up, two thumbs up, three thumbs up. <laughs> All right guys, so that's the hotel tour and Aloha, awesome. And if you wanna bring your pet, you can bring your pet. All right, Jaycationers, if you enjoyed this video of the Surf Jack, please give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna link them down below. But if you wanna see me stay at five different hotels in one week here all over Oahu Island and see the different hotels around the island, check this video out right here. And we'll see you over there, Jaycationers. And in the words of me, stay traveling, Jaycation. Mm -hmm.